All right, welcome back to another one of our film reviews off-season edition. Today, we are breaking down new Detroit Lions defensive tackle, DJ Reader. This guy is an absolute beast. He's going to bring a lot of value to this Lions defense. If you appreciate this content, as always, give us a like. Give us any comments with any feedback you might have. But without further ado, let's jump right into the film. All right, we're going to show DJ Reader. There he is right there at defensive tackle for the Cincinnati Bengals against the Seattle Seahawks offense. The Seahawks, obviously, a quality opponent. Former Seahawks offensive coordinator Shane Waldron is now with the Bears. So this is going to be some insights into how much value DJ Reader can provide the Detroit defense. But here we go. We see him lined up in a wide three technique on the outside shoulder of the guard right there. And this is a light box. If you look at it right here for the Bengals, they've got one, two, three, four, sort of six, five and six over here. But it's really wide, really light box. So you have six blockers right here to take on these six guys, a chance for a big time play for the Seattle Seahawks run game. And they do a pretty good job just scheming something up. He's going to work this way. It's going to be one-on-one -on -one right here. And we're just going to get zone blocks here. And there's just a great opportunity for the Seahawks to run it up inside here and get a positive run. But let's watch DJ reader absolutely dominate this matchup and help blow up this running play. Let's check it out. All right. So right there, if you look at this situation, the way it currently sits, the Seattle Seahawks basically have two guys for this linebacker and that backside linebacker, and then it's a walk-in touchdown. But let's watch DJ Reader. He gets into this guard and jacks him up. Look how look, look at that jump back from number 60. Thunk. That's like a that's a 300 plus pound dude getting shoved back two or three yards right there. Blows up the play, then comes off and helps make the tackle. Crosses the face of the defensive lineman or the offensive lineman, excuse me, makes the play. Phenomenal rep from DJ Reader. This is game-breaking stuff, right? And look, the Lions had a solid front four last season, more in the pass rushing game. Even though they were good against the run, I felt it was more scheme and effort that made them good against the run last year. DJ Reader's just a straight animal who will elevate this defense to a whole nother level. This guy's a game wrecker that the Detroit Lions just picked up. Yeah, Nick. And I think if one thing I want to point out first is this new Lions front four is going to be absolutely dominant with the new faces across the board. Davenport is a great player. McNeil came into his own right. Reader's a great player, and then Aiden Hutchinson. This will be one of the best front fours in all of football, I believe. And you look at DJ Reader, and you said it, Nick. He brings a lot to this team in ways of run defense. Obviously, we know Aiden Hutchinson. He's a phenomenal pass rusher, but 63 run grade last year. Uh, Ali McNeil, he's also a really good pass rusher, but mid-70 running uh, run defense grade. That is something that DJ Reader has been consistently good at through his entire career. You look at him, he had a 75 run defense grade last season, and it's always been that mid-70s all throughout his career. A very consistent run defender, and I think he's going to bring a lot in the way of the run defense for the Detroit Lions. All right, switching up to a pass rush, there is Reader right there. He's lined up in what we call a two-eye technique because he's on the inside eye of the guard right there. He's an A-gap player, this being the A-gap between the center and left guard. We would call him a one technique if he was lined up on the shoulder of the center right there, but he's a wider than that. He's on the inside shoulder of the guard, so we call that a two-eye. But this is going to be a pass rush situation. So the Seattle Seahawks are going to shift their entire offensive lineman this way to kind of sell outside zone this way. It's going to be a play-action boot across the forward here. They're going to bring the tight end in motion here to kind of secure this area right here as Geno Smith looks to, you know, either hit the tight end of the flat or someone else coming across the field, right? This is a standard pass protection that everybody runs. I want you guys to watch DJ Reader, how he recognizes what's going on and reacts and gets pressure on the quarterback. Let's check it out. All right, there's the motion. There's a snap. You can see the entire offense lineman looking to the right. You can see DJ Reader. Look at his eyes right over there. He sees, okay, play action. Look what he does with his offensive lineman. Shoves him aside, gets right in Geno's grill. Pressure, incomplete pass. Nice work up front from DJ Reader. Again, he's known as a run defender like we talked about, but he has the ability to win these one-on-one -on -one matchups and get big-time pressure right in the quarterback's face. That's his element, right? He's obviously not going to be one of these 10, 12, 14 sack players, right? Of course, he's a run stuffer by trade, but he can dominate some of these matchups when a situation persists to force incomplete passes or help some other guys get sacks, as we'll show later in this cutup. This is a great rep. Now, if you're a fan of football, you hate the end of this right here. Roughing the passer. I mean, come on, guys. This is perfect, clean football. Look at this. I mean, that's at a certain point, this is just tough. I mean, the ball's been gone for about, you know, three milliseconds. Good, clean form tackle, right? He's not hitting him high. He's not hitting him low. 
doesn't bury him. Look, he falls on the quarterback. He's a 300 pound plus dude. Of course, he's going to have fall on the quarterback with some weight. But regardless of the stupid penalty, this is a great rep from DJ Reader. All right, going back to the run defense, there is DJ Reader right there lined up in a two eye uh, technique right there. You can see the running back for Seattle right here. He's coming in motion and he's going to get a handoff and run this direction. This is a concept teams like the Seahawks like to run that play a lot and got a lot of teams really run this play too. You get double teams with the right guard and right tackle working up to the backside linebacker, the tight end, inserts for the play side linebacker, the guard pulls kicks out the defensive end, and you can kind of see the natural seal that's supposed to happen right there. Backside tackle anchors down and secures that gap and works out, and then the center blocks back. Like So normally what happens, the only way this play is blown up, because right here the offense has generated a lot of good angles, is if the safety fills. And the safety for the Bengals does fill right here, does a good job. But I want everyone to focus on reader, right? In situations like this, with the center blocking back, that's usually it for a defensive tackle. Not for DJ Reader. He makes another great play here. Let's check it out. All right, you see the running back gets the handoff. You can see the pulling guard. You can see the double teams at the point of attack. You can see the tied in insert for the linebacker. You can see the kind of natural hole here that's starting to develop for the CLC Hawks. But I want you to watch Reader right here. It gauges the center. At this point, this is what I'm talking about. The center has the angle. Most defensive tackles, nine out of 10 are done right here. They're basically eliminated. Watch Reader fight over the top, keep working, and get part of the tackle. He is a big dude. He is a strong dude, but he has a unique ability to be slippery at the point of attack. Watch him just slip away, escape, and help make the tackle. This is big time stuff here, right? Because you've got a safety filling in the box here that helps make this play. But it is one of those things you never know if the safety misses this tackle. And Kenneth Walker is a good running back for Seattle. Could he escape and make it a more productive play? Definitely. But Reader just keeps fighting, keeps working, beats the center over the top, which is a cardinal sin. If you're the offensive lineman right here, the one thing that can't happen is he can't beat you over the top unless he runs backward like four yards. DJ Reader just fights clean over the top and helps make the tackle. This is a great rep for the defensive tackle. We know he's physically strong. We know he's a good athlete. But the fact that he's so slippery adds another element that will help this Lions defense. Yeah, Nick, and I think this just shows that DJ Reader has a skill set that is very needed on this Detroit Lions team. When you talk about the stop attribute on PFF, it are tackles that completely are classified as a win for the defense, a stop on the play. This is something that linebackers, they get a lot of. You know, they, they're able to run in, you know, get through the line of scrimmage and make these big-time blow-up plays. Not as easy for a guy in the middle of the defensive line but this is something that DJ Reader has excelled at. He has gotten 22 stops this season, which I think is very, very good. He's got 167 stops in his career. I think he is trending upwards every year. Seems to be getting a couple more stops every season. But then this is a guy that in the center of this defensive line for Detroit is going to be able to hold his own and really make some plays in the backfield. All right, going the other direction, there is DJ Reader in a head-up nose guard position. We call that a zero technique right there. And this is for anyone who loves old-school football. This is classic 3-4 defensive alignment kind of stuff. You've got one, two, three down defensive alignment, two outside linebackers, two inside linebackers right here. So this is good old-school physical football that the Bengals defense is running here. And this is the key play right here in the 3-4 defense. You can have a nose guard that can dominate this matchup win the blocks against the center, play off that block, and really help your defense out. DJ Reader does a lot of good things. He dominates guards like we've shown earlier. He's got a good pass rush. But the fact that he can also play nose guard adds a level of flexibility to this uh, upcoming Detroit Lions defense. And this is just going to be a really cool concept by the Seattle Seahawks offense. Basically, they're going to give all kind of window dressing this way, bringing him in motion. Everyone else is basically just going to work out this way, then work up here. You're trying to get so much flow from the linebackers, and it's just basically going to be a power toss inside right here. The key block is going to be right here on Reader. Reader has to win this if the Bengals defense is going to have a chance on this play. He does. Let's check it out. All right, there's the motion. You can see the power toss right there. You can see how much the linebackers flew from the defense. You can see the running back. Kind of has a two-way go here. The Seahawks right tackle and tight end. They've got kind of two-on-one right there, so that's a mental bust there. They should have someone in this gap right here, maybe him working to the linebacker. But regardless, they get the flow the Seahawks do from the Bengals uh, linebackers. Let's watch DJ Reader, right? Right there. Once again, like before, DJ Reader has gotten reach, right? This center thinks he has a beat right there. He's got him cut off. Again, the play's designed to run to the left of us on this screen to DJ Reader's left, the offensive right. Watch what Reader does here, though. He fights through the block and thuds him up and pops him back. 
This is old school nose tackle work right here, right? This is like 2003, 2004, 2005, Vince Wolfork for the New England Patriots kind of stuff. Engages, shocks, sheds, makes the play. This is phenomenal work here. Again, there's teams right here that sit there and say, hey, we, we made a mental mistake, but our running back will hit this hole hard and still get, you know, four or five yards, still be an okay. But DJ Reader's like, nope, get him a half yard. These are the winning plays that you don't really notice too much. And I think this hurt the Lions against the 49ers. There were a lot of runs inside for the 49ers, especially in the second half, that were four or five-yard runs that kept the 49ers in favorable situations where they could convert, you know, third medium kind of situations. DJ Reader's run defense keeps teams out of those situations, which will help the Lions pass rushers. I think this was a great pickup. I think everyone recognized it at the time, but I think Reader's going to have a much bigger impact than even a lot of people recognize because of his ability to dominate in the running game. All right, going back to a run defense play, there is Reader, of course, at a 2 I technique. And the CLC Hawks, once again, have kind of a clever concept here. They're going to pull both the backside guard and the backside tackle right here. And they're going to have Geno Smith, fake the handoff and work out this way to kind of freeze this backside here. So they're going to get numbers on the play side. And what they're going to do is they're going to get sort of down blocks this direction right here for these three guys right here for, uh, for Seattle are responsible for these three guys right here for the Bengals. And they all have angles again, right? Everyone's got a good situation. He's got an angle to get him. He's got a great angle to get the linebacker. Number 60 has a pretty good angle to get DJ reader right there. Depending on how it shakes up, 60 could work to the linebacker and 67 could work to reader in that situation. But regardless, they've got everything they need to make a good seal here to give the running back a nice wide path to read these two guys pulling. But DJ reader, once again, blows up the play. Let's check it out. Right, you can see the pulling guard and tackle right there. You can see this defensive end's reading Geno Smith. So when Geno Smith fakes like he's going to run, he has to pause for a second. But again, let's focus on DJ Reader right here at the point of attack. Right. So number 60 actually gets shocked off trying to work to the linebacker. So 67 ends up being on Reader, the left tackle. Watch what happens. So right there, you can see they've got a chance to have a seal here, the Seahawks do. Watch what Reader does. He works through 67, pushes him back into the running back, and completely close the play up, ends up being a negative play for the Seattle Seahawks offense. Again, it's not sometimes about making the tackle for loss that just makes people go crazy in terms of a dominating play. It's blowing up the concept. Because right here, Charles Cross, the left tackle for Seattle, has the angle, has the ability to create that seal. The reader fights through him, blows him up into the running back, blows off the tackle a little bit too, so that way it just becomes a discombobulated mess right here. Almost makes a tackle, too. Look, look at that athleticism right there from Reader. Fighting off, extends, almost gets him down, allows his teammates to clean it up. This is winning run defense in the NFL. It's not about making the tackle necessarily. It's blowing up offensive linemen, driving them into the running back, and then getting your arms and hands on the running back to slow him up. Reader does really well on the stat sheet. He's got a lot of recognition, but his ability on plays where he doesn't necessarily make the play is just as good as those plays where he actually adds to his stats. This guy is a phenomenal player. The Lions are lucky to get him. Yeah, Nate, and you look at a guy like DJ Reader, and you see on this play, like you alluded to, his athleticism is something that gets him a long way. He's able to, you know, make, control his body more than someone that's 330 pounds probably should be able to. I think he's an athletic freak in that aspect. But some guys, they're not as controlled as that. You see a guy going down to reach to make the block, maybe they accidentally get a horse collar. Maybe they get a face mask, something along those lines. We saw it earlier. You know, unfortunately, that's the rules of the football game, but penalties do happen when you're a bigger guy. You know, I think people are less apt to get you a little bit of slack when falling on the quarterback. Penalties happen, but fortunately for a guy like DJ Reader, they don't happen very often. He only had two penalties this entire season, one being the one earlier in this game, and he's only had nine penalties in his entire career coming into his ninth year as a defensive lineman. I think this guy is absolutely phenomenal at playing good, clean football, and I think his athleticism gives him a lot of advantages on making plays. Like, All right, we're going to end on a big-time win here for Reader and the defense. There he is right there at a three technique. This is a fourth down situation late in the fourth quarter. Got to have it if you're the defense. The Bengals have their four defense alignment lined up right here. They're not going to do any crazy stunt. Everyone's just kind of working their natural pass rush lanes per alignment. It's all about getting to the quarterback. It's all about one-two. Reader's going to be one-on-one -on -one in this situation. Big-time moment. Let's check it out. All right, there's a snap. Again, you can see the Bengals attacking right there, just a standard four-man rush. Let's watch Reader work through number 60. So right there at the snap, 
Obviously, 60s got him in an okay position, but watch Reader just keep driving, keep working, and get into the quarterback's lap. This is what you want from a defensive tackle. Obviously, if you can beat someone with a quick swim move or a quick rip move, something like that to get immediate pressure, that's awesome too. But you want to get pressure right in the quarterback's feet. You want to drive into the quarterback's lap so he can't step up. Watch Geno Smith. He's flat-footed here. He can't step up into the pocket. Looks what, look what happens to the edge pass rusher. Gets to the quarterback. Again, if Reader gets caught, let's say, right there and just can't get any movement, like this defensive tackle is, for example, watch what Geno Smith could step up, avoid this pass rusher, and throw a ball in the end zone, maybe a scramble, get a big-time play. You know what happened a lot in the NFC Championship game? Brock Purdy, in this situation, would be able to step up, avoid an Aiden Hutchinson pass rush, and either run for the first down or complete a football move the chains. That's not going to happen with DJ Reader because DJ Reader can take really good guards and drive them into the quarterback's lap just like this. I'm not saying the Lions signed Reader and made a lot of big moves specifically to beat the 49ers. I think his skill set is translatable, but it's very clear that uh, Brad Holmes recognized a clear deficiency on their defensive line, and he did a great job going out and adding DJ Reader because he adds a key missing element. This was a huge get for the Detroit Lions. Yeah, Nick, and that accentuates exactly the point I want to make. If you look at the Cincinnati Bengals pass rushers, they have two great ones, specifically Trey Hendrickson, phenomenal pass rusher. Sam Hubbard did okay. Hendrickson, 17 and a half sacks last season. Hubbard, six sacks last season. Those are the top two pass rushers on Cincinnati. Let's look at the Detroit Lions, on the other hand, last year. Aiden Hutchinson, 11 and a half sacks. Aliam McNeil, five sacks. Very similar, I would say, in level of pass rusher, but you alluded to it. What is the difference? The Cincinnati Bengals had a guy like DJ Reader in the center of the field to kind of shut stuff down and allow the pass rushers to get home. There's no stepping up in the pocket when DJ Reader is busting down the wall. So I think the difference between Aiden Hutchinson having 11 half sacks to having a Hendrickson's 17 and a half sacks is a guy like Reader. So I think he's going to be a tremendous get in the pass rush game in the fact that he is going to shut down the middle of the field and allow these pass rushers to get home. 